to do Leo, Leo, Sun, not Moon, and Ascendant for the month of November. And we are looking at the theme first. Okay. Yeah, okay, the jingle dress. Expect a miracle. That's a good thing for you, Leos. I'd say it's a dress up in your best. You just never know who you're going to meet up with. Um, maybe you haven't been feeling the love and it's been difficult for you to push yourself forward. Um, but I'm going to say expect some miracles because maybe some energy is going to shift and you're going to be feeling a lot better in the month of November. Um, good to hear that. I'm going to say your calling, something to do with your calling or whatever you came here to do is going to be knocking on your door and pushing you into some upper realms and making you have some fun for the month of November. Talking about Leo, sun, moon, and ascendant and about the vibrations of love. All right, so Leo, Leo, as far as love goes, I think you've kind of shut down in some areas. Maybe you've decided that certain things just aren't um, aren't going to happen right now and you're too busy doing something. Um, but you know what? The action energy is there. So you know what? Even if you think you don't want to or you're not going to, um, you might have decided against it, but something's going to happen and push it along a little further. And you may not be able to decide against it because it'll just keep knocking on your door until you consider it. So you might meet someone through friends or friendships develop more into more loving ones. So November is going to be a little bit, a little bit of energy like that. So it'll still be fun and playful and not any serious commitments. That is, of course, if you're a single Leo. If you're not a single Leo, um, I do see some of you having, having it out with your partner regarding things they say and don't do and this is getting on your nerves and you're not going to take it anymore and this looks like uh, some of you leos are going to um you're, you're going to crack that whip that's what i'm seeing you're going to crack that whip all right um now i don't see is actually breaking up or anything but definitely cracking that whip um, it might make other people think that they don't want to hang out with you, but I don't, I'm not sure anything will happen at this point in time. November looks like you're going to coast. If there is a problem in a relationship, you're just going to coast through it over this next month and see if you can't find a way to overcome problems. Singles are going to be stimulated into possible conversation and hopeful situations. And those that have been in long-term relationships will tweak that relationship until it's tickety boo in the way they like and november is going to be that kind of month but i do see some of you uh, leo uh, people maybe planning a holiday uh, likely for um for the winter months somewhere maybe romantic somewhere really kind of pleasurable so yeah i think that uh, is a big possibility for you leos looking for love and or already in a loving situation health health for leo sun moon and ascendant for the month of november i think you're going to have to be very selfish about your own needs and what you want to do and when you want to do it and how you want to eat and how, where you want to eat and what you want to do and the activity you want to promote and push out and i think it's really important that as far as your health goes you keep on pushing forward if there's an opportunity for you to get in the water leo believe it or not i think it might be really helpful to you i do see some of you leos uh, maybe having some problems with uh, maybe there's some uh, mood energy or energy levels that are too low for you and you need to figure out what's going on and try to get your vibrations a little higher um, maybe you're too sleepy maybe you're lethargic that type of thing maybe you try to push yourself to get shit done and you're not meeting your own standards so i think that's going to take a, a little more figuring out what's going on with you leo maybe eating right is good i'm going to say that's getting sun's a really big deal for you being in the sun maybe putting in a light over your head i think you need to deal with you might be having some uh, pain or certain certain immobility problems. Leo's, I'm saying to you, your health is something you need to look at. You are not as strong as you once were. There has been some changes in your body. You're going to need to 
um, pay attention to those, but I do see you on it. I do see you getting involved, maybe going for walks, going swimming, this type of thing, and bam, you're gonna get your health back into some better state. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read for Leo and money. Leo and money. You do seem to be one of those Leos that don't do too bad with money. I do see uh, you're going to have to be a little more careful, though, with how much money is going out. Um, be mindful of that. I do see some uh, consequences around finances. Maybe you expected certain money to find its way back to you, and it hasn't yet. But you'll get it. You get it, everything's coming together. I do see something coming in the next seven days that's going to put some money back in your pocket and that's gonna be really helpful. Uh, but you'll have to coast for a little while around finances. Um, and I'm gonna say the economy, you're gonna feel the economy kind of hit you. So uh, all I can say is Leo, I think you're gonna be able to utilize your skills in certain ways that will bring about opportunities to make more money. And, uh, you know, I do see you making money out of thin air. So whatever that is, or whatever that means. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. And, and I do see that you have support in lots of different places where money comes through. And I honestly, I, I don't worry too much about the Leo and money.